Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields Flower Farm and today I want to show you how to build out your Christmas planters. If we haven't met yet, it's nice to meet you. My name is Kelly Lehman. I'm the owner of Cranberry Fields Flower Farm here in Cranberry, New Jersey. And I love giving you guys fun free flower tips. So please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so you know whenever I post another fun free flower tip video. So guys, before we dive in to how to create this beautiful Christmas planter, I just want to do a quick shout out to some of our flower tribe uh, to say thank you for your comments and for letting me know where you're viewing my videos from. It's really exciting for me to see where our viewers viewers are watching from around the globe each week. So exciting. So thank you for that. Please keep those comments coming below and your flower questions and let me know where you're viewing this video from in this great big beautiful world. So it's around December 7th and we built out this beautiful Christmas planter even though our soil was frozen. And here are some of the steps that we did. So when I came out here earlier, I realized that the dirt in these planters is frozen. So it's a really good idea if you can remember to try to get your Christmas planters done like right after Thanksgiving when it's not that cold out, unless you live up north and then it's super cold anyway. So if you can try to put them in at a time when it's not freezing outside, that's best. But having said that, I hardly ever do things when I plan on doing them because something else always comes up. So this soil froze. And I saw this great trick from Laura on Garden Answer. It's a she has a terrific garden channel. And she basically said, just heat up some hot water in like a tea kettle and you can kind of defrost the soil very easily that way. So that's what I did. I kind of added some water and I did this before. So this soil is like really great to work with right now, but it only takes a few minutes and it's a terrific tip. So thank you, Laura. As this soil is kind of thawing, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna cut some of the greens that I'm gonna use in this planter. But I have to tell you, you guys know that I love the workarounds and I love the uh, shortcuts. So one of the shortcuts that I use for Christmas every year is I will buy a whole bunch of pre-cut greens from one of my local garden centers. So this whole batch right here, these big mamas, these are all pre-bought from a local garden center. And um, I realized that I was cutting too much from the pine trees around the area in my house. I was cutting into these pine trees and I actually think I was harming them after a while because I was cutting a lot. So if you only, you know, are taking a couple branches or just enough for your planters, that's fine. But I was cutting them for like, you know, like 10, 15 planters for customers and it was just too much. And it was also very time consuming. So I realized that this was worth it's weight in gold to get these big guys pre-cut, but all these other smaller guys here, I just cut them from the plants around my property. And here's what I mean by that. So this is one of my varieties, and I just kind of cut a couple from various branches, from all different trees, so that I don't do too much damage on one tree. I don't want to cut here because I think I'm going to make a big hole here. <laughs> so I'm going to look for a really bushy area that looks like it can take a little clipping, like right here. And that's it. And I'll just clip a whole bunch of these from different plants. And I'm going to put this in my pile here. And now I'm going to head on over to my magnolia tree. And I love magnolia trees. They're a beautiful addition to your landscaping. And they have these gorgeous, white, beautiful flowers that come out in summer. And they actually smell like lemon. So these leaves have almost like a brown suede look to the back of them. So they're really gorgeous. They're really striking in arrangements. I'm going to come in here, give it a clip. And once again, I don't want to take too many leaves off of this tree because I want to make sure that I don't harm it. So I'm going to cut the branches that I would have pruned anyway just to keep it looking better in my landscaping and I'm doing two jobs at one time. So I'm going to start at the base of the planter and kind of fluff out the bottom and I'm going to kind of work my way up. Make sure that your stems are inserted nice and deep into the soil because you're going to have a lot of wind and a lot of rain and snow that's going to be blowing against it. So make sure that you get it in to the soil really good, really secure. And push some of these guys down more. And that soil is going to freeze over again. So it's really going to lock this in place. It's going to be locked and loaded for the whole season until spring. And I kind of had uh, the branches kind of flow over the sides in the beginning and now I'm kind of building them up more. Thank you. 
I like to add different types of greens so it's not just one type of greens in here. I've got some pines, all variety. We're gonna put our magnolias in at the end for the finishing touches. So then I've got some of my favorite pieces here. They're kind of like these uh, faux crystal stems. So they've got these little fake, they look like snow, but this will last for the elements and they're a really cute thing to buy. And you can kind of get these at Michael's, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby. I'll see if I could find something similar to put on my Amazon shop page if I could find that. And I'll put the Amazon shop page in descriptions below. I'm gonna poke these inside for some added interest. And then these guys are very similar. They're faux uh, berries, so these are like plastic, and they've got the faux crystals on them. So these guys are usually good at lasting through the winter elements too. I usually get like a year or two's use out of them. So what I'll do is I'll wind up just recycling them uh, for at least two years. Sometimes I'll get more than two years out of it, um, but these are great to have, so it's worth the little investment. So I'll just add these for some added points of interest. And then I've got a couple more faux pieces that I found. Sometimes I'll find these on sale too, at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or AC Moore, or even sometimes I can shop right. They'll have like little Gizhimugus to buy that are on sale. So at the end of the year, I'll kind of scoop up all the discount faux things that I know that I like to put in my arrangements each year. And then I have them and I get them for cheap. These planters are great because they really hold up against the elements and the snow. There's snow coming down right now and it actually just makes it look even more beautiful. See some of these crystals on these branches. So these are the real crystals. These are the faux crystals. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. And please let me know where you're viewing this from in this great, big, beautiful world. I love to see how our flower tribe's growing around the globe each week. And please say hi to us over on our Cranberry Fields Instagram channel and our Pinterest page and our Facebook page. And we're on TikTok now. So it's the Kelly Lehman Flowers. I think that's the name of the channel. I just went live yesterday with it. So anyway, I'll put a link to the TikTok below there too. And you can check out some of the short, mini, fast and fun garden tip videos that we put on there. And I will see you in the next video.